So this is how you can develop simple and most powerful strategy to trade with. It is very simple because you can figure it out in the market. You don't need to look at trend lines. You don't need to look at uh, um, uh, uh, Fibonacci. You don't need to look at uh, uh, what do you call it, moving average, MACD, all these things. As you can see, you can see my trading chart is very simple. There is no moving averages like there's no lines. I'm looking at pure price action. And if you can identify these candles, if you can identify these candles, you will do well. It is very simple to identify. Now, if I want to trade on a daily using the daily chart, how do I know if the market is going to buy or is going to sell? Okay, now, follow me as I move my cursor. Look at this place. Look at this place. You are seeing three candles. One on the left, one in the middle, and one on the right. The one in the middle is the highest place that the market ran to. That is the highest height that the market ran to. Now, on the daily time, time frame, whenever you see this kind of candle, appearing allow the day to close allow the day to close if the next day appears or the next day comes and what you see is a sell candle it's a sell candle note that that day the market will sell the market will do what sell and what did you see the next day came and the market actually started selling you can see you can see it sold it sold and now did a retracement again and now sold down to this level to come and cover what we call a void to come and cover what we call a void that means this market picked up here it started buying from here and got to this extent and got to this height now the sellers started pushing the market down this is a new they, they, this is a new high just let's keep aside this area, this left side now we are talking about uh, this particular one whenever you see this three candle form on a daily chart the left the center one which is the highest height note that the next day the market is going to sell the market is going to sell and that is exactly what happened here you can see that the market started selling you can see it is sold throughout that day the market sold the next day he actually bought again to this level and that uh, uh, the sellers actually brought the market down again and he, he, he did some some kind of mago mago movement in uh, trying to buy all the, the sellers brought it down down to this this extent so whenever you find this kind of candle on a daily chart note that that market is going to sell and how do you determine when you see it at the premium side I told you that uh, the premium is the highest level that the, 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 the that the market has gone, which is uh, uh, at a high price. At a high price, I told you that buy at a discount, sell at premium. So those people, people who knows who understand what I'm talking about now, please take note that when market has gone to a premium price, then you need to sell from there. And this three candlestick can help you to determine whether you are to buy, you are to sell so do not buy from this point point because when you buy you will be left behind and you lose your money at that area so whenever you see this type of candle at a resistant area hmm, you see these three candles forming this three candle forming try and sell from there note that the market will sell do not buy from there allow the market to come down to a discount price again so that you can buy then let us look at the opposite of it look at it now on this area look at let me bring let me show the this scene look at what happened here see what happened here do you see it at a discount area that those three candles appear again one on the left it doesn't matter the color one on the left one in the middle and one on the right in, and based on daily time frame now when the day closed the last sell candle you see the last sell candle now the next day came the markets actually sold to this low to one dollar to one dollar 48 cents now that is a discount that is a discount 
Now, if you look at the highest height it got to before uh, uh, where it started trading, this, this is where the buy started. Now it got to it got to um, two dollar fifty eight cent, fifty seven cent. I mean, now, so when you discover this type of candle at the discount area, you see this kind of candle at a discount area. There must be three, one on the left one in the middle and one on the right the one in the middle is always longer and it's how you always have a shadow either she could come in terms of a doji a gravestone doji it, 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 it could come in that way it could come uh, uh, in form of hammer uh -huh. so once you see this kind of candle three of them forming on a daily time frame once that the 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 middle one closes note that there will be a buy from there and note this that whenever price comes down to a discount area it does not stay long in a discount area it will rally up again and that is exactly what you see here what you are seeing this place now immediately the market come to a discount area when you see this straight candle forming in this in this chart now you see that the market rallied up down to that 58 uh, uh, two dollar 58 cents that we actually talked about now you buy at discount you remember i told you buy at discount you sell at premium now people that bought here they sold at this place they sold here and now the market actually okay first of all they sold here the market actually came back again came back to the same place that if, if you did not pick uh, profit from this from this area the market will come back again to that area now people bought from here again and uh, they sold from here then the market actually come down to this area so if you don't pick your profit the market will always pick it from you so note these three candles as your trading strategy whenever you see it confirm on a on a daily chart note that the market is gonna buy when you see it on the uh, discount area or, or that is a support area when you see it at the premium area which is the uh, uh, the resistance then you sell from there this is daily time frame patient is what you need to assess to come to conclusion that this market is going to buy or sell if you move further we can still find this type of candle yes look at this this place now look at this place that my this thing is look at it here again you are still seeing the same candle again you can see the doji you can see the doji then you can see the red um, hammer candle uh -huh. then another one on the right which is a buy candle now as i told you earlier always figure out those three candle sticks once you see them forming on a daily chart note that that market when you see it at the discount area is going to buy all you need to do is to be patient and nothing will make it nothing will prevent it not to buy and that is exactly what happened here you can see this this candle yes note this candle look at the 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 the, 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 the doji at the left now look at uh, the one on the middle and now there is another candle at the right confirming what i'm talking about now what happened didn't you see that the market actually bought the market actually bought and got to this height and got to this height before it, it now retraced a little bit and now fired up again so where you, you can just use this you can also see it here again forming you also see it here just note the three candles that if you can note that yes that will really help you that will really help you so just look at it again it formed in the it formed here look at it look at what i'm talking about it formed in this area again it formed in this area and this was on the premium side and what happened the market actually sold and here again here again what happened again the same thing appeared again the same thing appeared so whenever markets or price get to a discount it does not stay long at a discount area it fires up immediately so with this with this you can trade you can trade on a daily time frame on a daily time frame okay now let's move further you can still see the same thing the same pattern appearing appearing it must surely appear so look at look at that middle candle look at the left side you are seeing another candle and look at the right one immediately this one closes note that the market will buy and it will first of all um, 
take off take off the 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 the, the top of this uh, previous uh, hand candle once you take it off note that enter the market you must surely buy you must surely buy to a reasonable height to go and test the previous high yes so that is how you can trade using this uh, swing high and swing low swing high and swing low you can always find it out now let us move to four hours time frame yes let us move to four hours time frame yes if you move to four hours time frame you will you will always find what i'm talking about okay look at this look at this now let's talk about the the the, the buy side liquidity now let us talk about the buy side liquidity whenever you see this you can see the center candle again as you can see no one violated it none of the candles violated it so when you see this type of candle at the discount area at the discount area you can call it a support area whenever you see this type of candle all you need to do is to do what buy from there this is four hours allow the four hours to close once the four hours close note what is happening note what is happening immediately the next candle violate the high or take off the high of the middle candle buy from there because the the price will shoot up and first of all take off the previous high and that is exactly what happened here you take off the previous high at two dollar twenty cents now get to a high of what two dollar fifty two cents before it now retraced to this area and now go went up again now came down to this area so you can use this as your bias to take your trade this is on a four hours time frame yes what about on the premium side which is when uh, when price has gone very high you can also still identify when price go to this height yes you still see the same three candle always identify the three candles because when you identify the three candle one on the left one on the middle the one on the middle is always the tallest meaning that there is a set pressure from there check allow the four hours to close once the four hours close you see another candle appearing yeah sometimes when the the the, the 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 four hours close the new candle appear it starts selling it will still go back sometimes to go and test it again and that is exactly what happened here that is exactly what happened here uh, you are seeing that buy candle uh, you went back again to test to test where it uh, started selling from after the four hours ended the price price now shoot down to one dollar four cent and i told you that whenever price gets to a discount it does not stay there for a long time because people will see that look at this uh matic that got to two dollar something cent is now fifty one dollar fifty four cent and people would now go in to buy a lot of a lot of a sell a buy order has been placed on that area that is the reason why you saw that week buyers now came in and the purchase buyers now came in and they bought they bought that was the reason why you saw that week there was a buy pressure on that area so with this on the four hours look at it again here forming here the same the same candle the same candle it does not matter the color i don't know what, what the color of your own look like yes so you can develop use this as your trading strategy as your trading strategy so as we go for that you will see how you can use it on one hour you can use it on 30 minutes you can use it on 15 minutes so that that is how it is without talking much about it you can see it is very visible and very simple to use so you can use this as your trading strategy to trade yes another one is uh, the one hour time frame the one hour time frame all you need to do is to be patient you can see it here too it occur here it occur here at a buy side at the uh, uh, discount area or you call it at a support region yes when you saw this kind of sign it's a buy sign it's a buy sign yes you can also see the same thing occurring here always locate the three candles yes and what happened here immediately the middle candle close new one came up that one now violated the previous high of the middle candle and 
when you see this type of sign, you buy from there. And what happened at this place? He got there. You still see the three candles appearing again. And what happened? The market sold. The market sold. Come came down to to this level. The market came down to this level. You still see the same candle again. You see doji. You see doji. And when you see the doji like this, it means indecision in the market. And the market price rallied up. Remember. Whenever price go to a discount, it does not stay on a discount for a long time because there are, there are always a much uh, uh, buy uh, uh, orders that are stuck in, in that area. We can call this internal range liquidity because there are a, a whole lot of buy order which they have placed here. And that is the reason why you saw the pressure mounted on the buy area and the team bought before it came down to this area again. So with this, you can develop your strategy. Look at a 15 minutes time frame. You can also use it to trade on 15 minutes. Look at it here. You can buy from here. You buy from here. Looking at the three candles. No one violated, violated the middle candle. You can look at the middle candle. It is the longest one. Yes. You can also look at it again on the premium side. It is always the tallest. No candle can violate it yes whenever you see this type of candle forming in 15 minutes you can as a scalper you can use this to trade on 15 minutes time frame yes but you must be careful whenever you put something on fire always look at it you don't you don't you, are, you will not be cooking in the kitchen and you left the team watch the market watch the market so that as a scalper so that you can go out of the market before because it is not your father's market you look at the same thing happening here again so with this strategy, with this strategy, you can trade anything. You can trade anything, being it forest, being it uh, crypto, being it stock, anything you can trade. You can trade. So thank you very much for listening. And if you find this video helpful and more reasonable, please subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to the channel and also give me a, 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 a like, a like button, a strike on the like button. Thank you very much. I will see you in the next video thank you very much for uh, uh for viewing